This is Twit. I can't believe how many uh, letters uh, and, and actual physical letters people sit down and write, and lots of email. And I appreciate that so much. And we're uh, we're going to really have a quite an interesting turn here at this point. You know, we have been building the preamplifier the last couple of weeks, and uh, the preamplifier, it, the 12VX7, uh, the, the wonderful part about that is uh, it, it's very simple. And uh, show you the nice drawing that Gene does. My gosh, Gene, thank you so much for your, your great drawings and stuff. This is a simple two-stage preamp. It, 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 it's used in so many things. And um, we're building that. We, we've got you laid out with the, the right layout of parts. And uh, it ends up, of course, as we showed. But we're going to take a little left turn. For some of you that are not quite ahead, we're going to add a few parts. Why? So we can add equalization. And all we have to do is add a few parts to this. One resistor, two capacitors, and two potentiometers. And we do it in between the stages, and we're going to have a, a base. Or actually, it's going to be a base in mid, because uh, we the treble is way up at 10K. We don't care. But it's a two-band EQ. That's how simple equalization can be. And... Um, I don't have this built yet because I haven't been home for weeks, <laughs> uh, Dayton and here in the plant, but I'm going to be there Friday, and I guarantee you we'll have it built up for you. But that's what's going to happen, and there's the parts list for it. And this parts list, uh, is that's the extra parts that you're going to need uh, for the, uh, the equalization. This is the parts list for the entire rest of the preamp. Now, I know I've shown this before, but a lot of people are just tuning in or just getting started, so there it is. And uh, one of the things that I was really happy about, I found it this afternoon, and I couldn't wait to tell everybody, I was over across the street from the plant here, and there is a, a, a eh, come on, there we go. There is a Hobby Lobby there. And you want to go visit your local Hobby Lobby because look what I found. It's a, a whole section they call the wood pile. And they're very nicely finished. There's two of them in here. They will make a beautiful base for each of your projects so you won't have to cut any wood or anything they're just perfect and along with that i found a whole package of very thin pieces and i i've been really perplexed about this. don't get the project into a huge woodworking or metalworking but i need something to put the controls on and especially now that i come up with the equalizer and this will work just fine I'll have this all built up here uh, Saturday afternoon. We'll get that going in between the VHF contest. But you see what happens here. That will be my front panel. We'll mount that little baby uh, on the front of this guy. And it'll be a nice place to put our controls. Switches, we could put a meter in there, whatever. You can go crazy. But all of this stuff is available at Hobby Lobby, back in their wood pile. <laughs> That's what they call it. Uh, it. They got all kinds of things. But it'll make it easy for you because you won't have to go cut a bunch of wood or any of that kind of stuff. And uh, you'll be able to make things happen. I have some other great news for you. We are working with Jeff at Antique Electronic Supply. And it looks like they are going to put a kit of parts together for 
the pine board project. How cool is this? You'll be able to make one phone call and get all of the parts with the exception of the tubes. Now, they might have some of them, but uh, you can call our friend Mike over in the St. Louis area and he's got the tube. So th that's going to be wonderful. And it's, it's a not, a, not a 100%, but it's pretty close. I think we're going to be able to make it happen. So you want to stay tuned. Call these guys, Jeff at Antique Electronic Supply. And I'm just getting the pieces together, uh, all the numbers together for him. So he'll have it all ready to go in his computer. He pushes a button and sends it to you. And that's what we want to do. And the other thing is the crystals. I talked to, uh, to Bry this week again. He's AF4K. Just put that into Google. And he is your guy for crystals. He's all set, and he's been building a lot of crystals for some of the pine board guys that are already working on things. So that's kind of the big news. I'm really excited, especially about Antique Electronic Supply getting things going. And again, we have the preamp that we've done so far. And then this is the, the list for the equalizer. You can put it in. We don't have to put it in. But next week, I'll have it all built up so you can see it, and that'll get going. We also have, we'll have some words on the final. I know everybody's wanting to push ahead on the final, but I, uh, I'm taking a little bit of time on that. But no matter what we do, guys and girls, you want to make real sure that you know about this. We're playing with 150 to 200 volts and you just want to make sure. You saw uh, K9 MIT chips uh, chip stick that he built and uh, uh, sent us the idea for it. it. Used to be called the chicken stick in the big world, and they still do. They still do in the broadcast world. The back of a broadcast transmitter today, one of the big uh, 50,000 or 10,000 watt transmitters, they have. Uh, when you open the back, is a chicken stick, and it's a grounded rod that you can short out those caps and even though you have bleeders on them and ours do we're okay but just make sure that you have everything shorted out before you get crazy because uh, things do happen and you don't want it to happen when you're inside your transmitter <laughs> so that's about all i have it's all good news uh the Hobby Lobby thing is really cool because uh, I, I wasn't sure what we were going to do for a panel, and I didn't want to have to go to metal. And there it was, right there. So we got it all. That's it from here. And uh, I, I do hope that everybody's enjoying the building, if, if they're getting into building and so on. But um, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that everybody's got things happening.